every ACI jet customer liked Christmas a lot, but the AUG, who lived near the airport, did not. The AUG hated Christmas, the whole travel season. It's best not to ask why. No one quite knows the reason. Some say he was a pilot who lost his wings long ago. Others say a knitter, knitting sweaters from home. But I think the most likely reason of all is that his love of airplanes was just way too small. Whatever the reasons built on the truth or a lie, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating ACI. Staring out his window with a furied, oggy nose, he glared spitefully at the brightly lit FBO. For he knew every ACI jet customer would be traveling soon on those big, noisy jets that would rattle his room. They're packing their bags, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. And then, oh, the noise, the jet noise. Noise, noise, noise. That's the one thing he hated. Airplane noise. Noise, noise, noise. Then the people, young and old, would lift off and fly, and they'd fly, and they'd fly, and they'd fly, fly, fly. They'd fly on fast jets and on small piston planes, which was something the AUG couldn't stand. Not one more day. They'd share selfies with hashtags and post TikToks online. They'd tag their friends as they went whizzing by. The smoke from their engines would fill up his room. Each year, he'd seal up his house, seal it up like a tomb. I must stop Christmas travel, he thought. But how? Then, he got an idea. An awful idea. The Aug got a wonderful, awful idea. He chuckled and chuckled with sinister bliss. With this hat and this badge, I'll look just like line service. Then he loaded some tools and some other supplies and headed to the FBO where the planes await flights. These snacks, he said aloud, are the first thing to go. And he ate and he ate until his belly button showed. Then he slunk to the icebox where he ate all the catering He even ate the parsley, only there for displaying. With five tons of foam to the control tower did he go. Let's see ATC work when it's packed full of snow. He climbed each jet to where the engines are tied, and a fistful of ornaments were hurled inside. An engine as festive as this, he muttered, can't make a sound. It'll all but sputter. Then with a glug, 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 a fuel truck was loaded with one ton of eggnog. He found a golf cart, and the only thing that felt right was to race down the runway, teeing off on each runway light. Let's see the Marshall airplanes when I switch out their wands. With pool noodles instead, they'll steer right into ponds. He went to the hangar to search for more. When he heard a faint sound of someone sweeping the floor. It was Karina in facilities, getting an early start to the day. She asked, why are you breaking our planes this way? The noise, 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 he belted and barked as he covered his ears with his winter scarf. They blow soot on my garden. They're not as safe as my car. The whole crazy thing doesn't belong in my backyard. She said, these modern engines purr just like a kitten. You'd know this if you'd open your door to listen. They don't spew black smoke. No smoke at all, you see. They're designed for maximum efficiency. And while you may hear bad stories, they're really quite rare. Thousands of aircraft fly safely through the air. He took out a Kleenex and jammed it into his ears. Such utter hogwash he just wouldn't hear. And after his challenge, he was gone in a flash. His wonderful, awful idea came to fruition at last. That night, the Aug slept with a peaceful sigh in a lawn chair on his own lawn under a quiet night sky. But he did hear a sound rising o'er the morning glow. It started quite low, and though it did grow, the sound wasn't that loud. It sounded softer, but they were flying, all of them, one after another. 
Were they using new engines? Were they flying higher? Was the fuel they were using quite a bit lighter? Karina had been right. For too long, he'd been too proud to see that airplanes were quieter, were safer, and they were greener like he. They were cleaner. They were greener. Green, green, green. He was filled with remorse for the deeds he had done, but the ACI jet team had fixed each jet, each and every one. When the last traveler departed, he packed his bag light, and he, the Og himself, he took the last flight. The End